Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on Mountain Blade. Today I'm going to teach you the five most badass weapons in Mountain Blade Warband. So let's begin. Now our first weapon is going to be this, the Masterwork Strong Bow. This is basically the best bow you can get in the game. It's 28 damage, same as a war bow, but it's faster. Uh, a war bow is 81 speed, this is 89, so you can get out the shots much faster. Now granted you need power draw 7, so you're not going to be seeing this bow until level 20, but when you do, it's pretty ridiculous. So let's go take some shots. So I'm going to tell her when to hold this position, so that way we can have some fun at their expense, hopefully. Now the one thing that sucks a lot about going up against sea raiders is obviously shields. They have lots of them. Let's see if we can get in there. I don't think I have very good archery on this guy. But come on, I almost got some. Ah, oh, come on. Screw it, let's get closer. I'm like whiffing way bad. So this thing hits really fast and hard. Boom, 22 damage. And I don't have crap. There you go, there's 21. Boom, 31. Boom, 33. So you can plow them out pretty fast, too. Oop, right in the shield. There we go, another one. It hits so hard, it's minimum two shot. Um, on unarmored dudes, it's basically like a one shot. Boom, there you go, right in the gut. Oh, that was so really close. Oh, you hit titty titty bang bang. Why did you hit him? Oh yeah, come on. So as you can see, 35 damage each time, it's retarded. Why don't we just get this guy going? Everyone charge it out. So that's the Masterwork Strongbow. Again, I would recommend it over the Warbow, but the Warbow is still going to be 6. Uh, and the Masterwork is somewhere around 20,000 dinar. So it's wicked expensive. So, uh, don't be too surprised if you can't get it quick enough, but when you do, it just trucks, especially during sieges. Oh my god, during sieges. Okay, let's move on to our second choice. My second favorite weapon that hits like a truck, easily, balanced great lance, huge weapon reach. When you hit in, you'll just, oh, it just, you, you hit so hard. All right, titties. So this character is not, like, goofed or anything. Uh, it... It's a normal character that you would be running, like, so. Anyway, let's get into what a joust is. So as you saw, like, our horse is kind of going slow, and our lance is up. When you're doing the joust, you push straight forward, and there it is. This is not the best map in the world for this, but... You know what? Sometimes you just have to use what you got. Not ideal, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, come on, titties. Let's let's turn around. Now I usually go and press R, which is first person mode. Boom! Do you see that? Two hundred and fifteen damage. It's basically a one-shot knockout. It takes about five seconds to get back into uh, speed, um, but you always want to roll with like a shield, just because that you see the little red circle below. See that red circle? That means that we're like, we can't do anything. But now that it's a gray circle, we can. So let's go get that. Let's go get this guy. Oh, wrecked. So red circle in the bottom right. We can't do anything with our great lance for right now. See, now our lance is down. Okay, and stick the point into him. And you can just keep doing this all day. And as you see, I mean, we're taking hits, but <laughs> it's not nearly enough. Uh, for this kind of build, you want to have a really, really, really big uh, horse. So you want to have a horse that's got armor, uh, but also is pretty quick. Oh god, the Sea Raiders are playing with our army. Uh, also, if you press R, you can go into first person mode. R also takes you back to third person mode. I prefer first person when I'm doing lancing, uh, for obvious reasons. It's very difficult to kind of get an idea uh, as far as where everybody is. I can't tell. All right, let's let the Sweaty Knights take care of that last guy. Where is he? You can obviously left click and uh, poke just like normal. It's not nearly as effective. 
There we go. That was a speed bonus. Okay, so let's go on to the third biggest weapon in Mountain Blade Warband. All right, my third favorite weapon, War Cleaver, for sure. Look at that, 45 swing power. Uh, weapon reaches to 120, and it's very quick. Uh, so you can pretty much just sit back and just wreck balls. So let's just go ahead and say, everyone, would you mind holding this position, please? Uh, I prefer to use um, second player or third person mode like this because I want to be able to see left and right because when I'm swinging in like this or like that, I want to be hitting it. So check this out. Do -do 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 right in there. <laughs> Granted, these are just looters, but uh, they this is pretty much demonstrates the beauty of the war cleaver uh, in regards to stuff like sieges. It's an absolute truck. It just comes through and just wrecks. Cause look at that, 94 damage. Now, granted, I am on a horse, so I'm gonna just jump off that horse real quick. Boom. Two hand in. If you reach, if you shoot up and down like that, it just crushes. Oh, come on! What are you gonna do? Whiff! Whah! Charge it out, you guys! Show them what you got. That's like the one guy. Well, oh, there's two of them. Three of them. Oh, oh run, 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 dude! Run, fella, and he's dead. <laughs> so the war cleaver, huge reach, and just brah, add the horse into it, and it's just a train wreck. Okay, let's go and see what else we can get into. All right, guys, my next choice is going to be this, the siege crossbow. Now, a siege crossbow is f crazy damage. Regular, like, bow, 28 damage. 68 damage damage one shot it is it is just done for uh i mean you you are really going to be putting down some pain with this guy this is of course as you can imagine perfect for sieging because you pretty much people on the other side can't move and you can just sit there plinging them uh it let's just go see what this this turns out to be i don't think this is going to work pretty good uh you can't shoot it oh you can shoot it from can't reload <laughs> okay so you get one shot on the horse. And I want to find a nice little position. Give me a little bit of time. No, that's not going to be enough time at all. Let's just kind of go away a little bit and let's ping him from the side. Oh shit, they found me. They're, they're, yeah, they're coming at me now. I need some space. So the one failing of the siege crossbow is you really need a little bit of room to operate. And obviously you have to be able to recharge the thing. But if you can get the shot, cause I'm trying to shoot him in the feet. Boom, 38 damage. Bam. 51 damage. 40 damage. And War Cleaver. War Cleaver. War Cleaver. Yeah. Suck my War Cleaver, bitches. God, I love the War Cleaver so much. This is so fun to say. Cleaver Pain. Fucking charge it out, you guys. Jesus Christ. Get me a little bit of a fucking margin here so I can go pew pews. Boom! 43. Where are you? Uh, and the nice part about the, the crossbow is you don't have to worry about, like, the aim getting all funked up. You can just sit there holding it as long as you want. And then you could go, hey, horse. Dunk. Oh, come on. Get that horse. Ah, screw it. The horse is going to live. Let's go on for our last uh, couple. We have two more. All right. My next one is another two-hander. It's the Masterwork Greatsword. If you can get your hands on one of these, they are awesome. Okay, good reason for it. 125 reach. They're really fast. They swing at 44 a cut and 36 on the thrust. 
generally it's going to be on the on the cut um so for me i i almost always use the horse uh just because a you need a little bit more maneuverability uh no no no, no. you guys hold position here oh come on get out of my way I'm trying to show the people stuff i don't need your asses it's a big big sword like super big but when it hits it just as you can imagine uh, there are one-handed weapons as well in this game that are pretty damn, re like, pretty crazy. But if you're going for just a, like a pure, whoops, what's that, your head? Thrust right in the face. 61 damage. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, whiffed. Whiffed. Oh, 60. Even on the slow, you're going to hit for basically half their life in one shot. Whoops. What's that? No one saw that. <laughs> I'm trying to demonstrate here, guys. All right. So you can get in there and just uh, uh, thrust it in there. Fucking thrust it. Nice. Ah, stupid force band. It sucks so bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, my horse. There we go. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, whiff. Oh, come on. I'm trying to show the people how awesome a weapon you are. Don't be stupid on me now, bro. Oh. Boodly, 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 boodly. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Oh shit, you're getting away. Doodle 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 We're going for the thrust. Stick it right in his back. There you go. The Great Ward Sword's very nice, especially when it comes to like eh I don't know, when sieges I still prefer using the shield a bit. But it hits really bad. Alright, let's try and even find out what my favorite weapon is. Ready? Anyone who's followed this channel for a while knows there's one weapon that makes my heart just just sing. And it is the Great Hammer. A heavy Great Hammer, to be precise. Does it have the best weapon reach? Nope. And does it have a hell of a lot of power? Yes, it does. 47 bash. And here's the best part. It goes through blocks. Yeah, so you go straight through people blocking you. That's fun. Let's go try some Sea Raiders. Granted, not a whole lot of them, but it's just me. No big deal. Okay, get, get out of the way. Fuck off. Okay, there you go. It's a really short distance. It gets a little bit slower, but just being able to crush through blocks. Ha ha. It's so cool. Check us out. Come on. Boom. Oh, yeah. Knocked unconscious. And the best part about being knocked unconscious, you get to keep them. So if you're going to do a lot of slavers, see, look at that. Knocks them down. Goes right through there. Come on. Boom. Where's the other guy? Where'd you go, fella? Oh, here you are. Hold on. Don't go over there. I don't want you to die. I want to take you for myself. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, it knocks him down. Right through. He was blocking, it went straight through his shield, knocked him out. So, when I would normally have four dead guys, now I have four sea raiders. And for any of you guys who don't know the benefit of that, let's just say I go here, I go to a tavern, and let's come on, Ransom. Yeah, Ransom Broker. What's up, baby? How you doing? Now, I have $450, because I could sell those four Sea Raiders. And I got a shitload of money. Obviously, I cheated in the money, but don't worry about it. Uh, so, if I had to pick one weapon to go, to go to battle with, and just always, this has been a huge performer for me, the Great Hammer. I mean, yeah, I mean, if I had to take a choice, what I would probably do 
is I would dump the ranged weapon, take that, and I'd have like a throwing weapon of some sort, like either axes or uh, throwing knives. Just makes it super nice. Uh, that one is if I just need to get in there and just fucking crush somebody. This though, ha, oh, dude, it is unreal. Or even just roll like that. I mean, you're you're gonna be unstoppable. Or uh, where is it? Yeah, masterwork, and bam, yeah, good luck. GG on anybody trying to mess you up. So I hope that was useful for you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, again, this was the videos again to demonstrate the different weapons that I really like. And as you see, that's my character. Nothing you wouldn't expect. Level 18, nothing special, nothing sexy. Um, but, you know, that's that's how it goes. Uh, you guys can have this. Just takes a little bit of cash, but you can just grind sea raiders or do trading or whatever you need to get the money and you can get any of these weapons so if you thought that was useful hit the like button if you made it this far why don't you put in the comments you hey, damn cheater you know because i put somebody in there to do the video but that's okay maybe instead of damn cheater you should just say titty bang bang in the comments below that'd be funnier all right guys like comment subscribe talk to you soon see ya Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, why don't you go hit hit that like button? Hey, whip, over, hey, over here. Like button. There you go. Thank you. And then, if you really liked it, hit the subscribe. Check out these other videos that are over here somewhere, and you're going to enjoy those as well. So, again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.